हेलो एवरीवन होप दिस वीडियो विल फाइंड्स यू ऑल इन अ गुड हेल्थ माय सेल्फ डॉक्टर पार्थ गोस्वामी एंड टुडे आई विल टीच यू अबाउट द नेचुरल किलर सेल्स फॉर्मली इट इज नोन बाय द नेम एन के सेल्स गाइस दिस लेक्चर इज गोइंग गोइंग टू बी वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग एंड इट्स अ वेरी शॉर्ट टॉपिक सो काइंडली लिसन इट केयरफुली टिल द एंड इट्स अ वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग लेक्चर ऑल राइट सो वॉट डू यू मीन बाय नेचुरल किलर सेल्स so guys in our previous video we have discussed something regarding the components of innate and adaptive immunity so the nk cell is a component of our natural immunity it's a component of our innate immunity all right and this cell is also known by its another name which is a very popular name is large granular lymphocytes the name is given because it contain a abundant azeotropic granule here you can see that in the cytoplasm of natural killer cell there is a presence of abundant azeotropic granules and these granules contain granzymes and if you observe carefully then guys this cell this particular natural killer cell is larger than small lymphocytes that's why the name large granular lymphocyte is given all right now guys this particular cell is having a role in destruction of virus infected and tumor cells suppose in our body there is a virus infection in the particular cell or some cell is becoming cancerous then such type of abnormal cell which is known as an stress cell such type of abnormal cells are getting recognized and destroyed by this powerful cell that is natural killer cells so that is the main function of nk cell all right in our peripheral blood guys we have the lymphocytes 20 to 40% among which 5 to 10% can be peripheral blood lymphocytes so the 5 to 10% of peripheral blood lymphocytes are natural killer cells so that's the reason why in viral infection these natural killer cells are increased in a percentage all right now guys these natural killer cells are produced from hematopoietic stem cell particularly hematopoietic lymphoid stem cells and guys after production it get differentiated and maturated in either in a bone marrow or in a lymph node or in a tonsil or in a spleen so that are the site for differentiation and maturation of nk okay now friends as we have discussed the nk cell is a component of natural immunity so obviously it provides you a first line defense against the virus infection and tumor cell it's a first line defense because it's a component of innate immunity all right this nk cell is having the two receptor or we can say two surface molecule over their surface there are two surface molecule that is cd16 and cd56 both these surface molecules are known by the name natural killer cell marker the name marker is given because by flow cytometry of these two surface molecule you can identify the natural killer cells they are the marker to identify natural killer cells all right guys the natural killer cell proliferation is stimulated by interleukin 2 and interleukin 15 these two interleukin will stimulate the natural killer cell proliferation which is a very important mcq all right how the natural killer cell function in our body in terms of elimination of virus infected cells and cancer cells so guys basically there are three ways of the mechanism of action of natural killer cell they will kill the virus infected or cancer cell by a three way either by the perforin granzyme system perforin granzyme system or by the adcc that is antibody dependent cellular cytotoxicity or by its third way that is interferon gamma production so by this three way they will try to eliminate the offending agent all right now first we will start with perforin granzyme system that is through activating receptor now guys before you understand how natural killer cells kill the virus infected cell through perforin granzyme system 
you should be able to familiar that how natural killer cells are getting activated in our body all right so guys this upper diagram is showing the natural killer cell in a healthy cell suppose you have the normal healthy cell in which you have no viral infection and no cancer cell then what happen guys the normal cell normal healthy cell in our body will express major histocompatibility complex class 1 molecule they will express mhc class 1 molecules and guys the natural killer cell is having the two type of receptor one is activating receptor through which natural killer cell activated and another receptor are inhibitory receptor through which natural killer cells are inhibited so guys in the healthy cell there will be expression of mhc class 1 and whenever there is a expression of mhc class 1 the natural killer cell will bind its inhibitory receptor to that molecule so guys there will be inhibitory receptor activation whenever it encounter healthy cell and that's why the natural killer cell is not getting activated and so normal cell will not die there will be no destruction of normal cell because of because of engagement of inhibitory receptor all right but guys whenever you are having virus infected cell or cancer cell in your body they will reduces the expression of this mhc molecule here you can see that in the virus infected cell you don't have mhc class 1 so mhc class 1 expression is not there and because of that guys the virus infected cell will complementary produces a ligand for binding with activating receptor as these inhibitory receptors are not engage here they will bind with activating receptor of natural killer cell and that's why guys the natural killer cell is getting activated whenever you have virus infection or cancer cells and they will do the by activation they will do the destruction of infected cell by perforin granzyme system so guys you have to clearly remember that natural killer cell is getting activated only when there is a abnormal cell in our body which reduces the expression of mhc class 1 and because of reduction of mhc class 1 the activating receptor are activated in that way the natural killer cell is activated all right so here in this particular image i have written the same that in virus infection or neoplastic transformation of the cell there will be expression of the ligand for activating receptor and mhc molecule will not express the expression is reduced and so guys this particular ligand will bind with activating receptor of natural killer cell and so natural killer cells are activated to kill the abnormal cell all right now guys how the perforin granzyme system will work this system is now after natural killer cell activation this perforin granzyme system will kill the virus infected cell guys this mechanism is similar to like that of cd8 t lymphocyte which we will discuss in some another lecture but here we will see the overview so guys first of all on natural killer cell activation they will produces a perforin now this perforin name itself suggest it will perforate the cell membrane it will perforate this cell membrane and that's why they will produces a pore within the cell membrane so because of formation of pore the cytoplasmic granules contain granzyme that can be released into the abnormal cell here in this diagram you can see that from the cytoplasm the granules granzymes will be released in the abnormal cell because of perforation of cell membrane by perforin and now the granzymes can produces the free radical and now they will activate the caspase enzyme and you know very well guys that whenever caspase is getting activated you have the apoptosis and so through the process of apoptosis this abnormal cell is going to be destructed all right so that was the first mechanism of action by natural killer cell all right now another mechanism of action is by antibody dependent cellular cytotoxicity all right so guys first of all suppose if this is antigen that is enter in your body then the antibody will caught this antigen this is the antibody all right 
now over this end of the antibody you have the fc receptor right now this fc receptor is going to be recognized by natural killer cells surface molecule particularly cd16 so over the surface of natural killer cell we have the cd16 surface molecule it will recognize this fc receptor and it will bind to this antigen coated antibody most of the time this antibody is igg so we can say that natural killer cell with the help of its surface molecule cd16 will bind to the antibody coated antigen and so they will destroy this antibody coated cell and in this way they can destroy the abnormal cell that is known by the name antibody dependent cellular cytotoxicity and the killing is like same way like that of perforin enzyme system so that is the adcc antibody dependent cell toxicity the name given because it totally depends on recognition of antibodies fc receptor and that's why it's a antibody dependent cell toxicity all right now guys third mechanism of action of natural killer cell is through interferon gamma production now guys this uh, natural killer cell is non phagocytic cell right it's a non phagocytic cell it cannot do the phagocytosis right but guys once you understand this slide you will fall in love with immunity of our body guys now see what natural killer cell will do in your body guys they will stimulate the production of interferon gamma now this interferon gamma will activate the macrophage this particular interferon gamma this particular cytokine is having a role on role of macrophage activation and once macrophage are getting activated they will kill the abnormal cells by the phagocytosis they will kill the intracellular pathogen by phagocytosis intracellular or extracellular pathogen by phagocytosis and that's why the interferon gamma production is very important in the killing of microorganisms so that is the third way of mechanism of action of killing of pathogen so these are the three way of natural killer cell mechanism of action now guys why the scientists have given the name natural killer cell so guys natural killer cell is having very unique mechanism of action they doesn't need any antigen exposure they are not the action is not mediated by immune response and it is totally mhc unrestricted if you look for the other t lymphocyte then they need a mhc help to execute the action but this natural killer cell is totally mhc unrestricted and it doesn't involve any antigen antibody interaction and because of this unique mechanism of action this natural killer cell are a very powerful cell of our innate immunity and that's why the name natural killer cell is given all right now guys so we can say that the ability of natural killer cell to kill the target cell to kill the abnormal cell is inversely proportional to the target cell expression of mhc class 1 molecule if target cell doesn't express mhc class 1 molecule then only it will be killed by natural killer cell but our healthy cell will expresses this mhc molecule and that's why they will not be killed by natural killer cell so the cell will get killed only if mhc molecule expression is reduced all right suppose the natural killer cells are not functioning well then you can develop shediac higashi syndrome all right so guys this is all about the natural killer cell thank you very much and see you soon in the next video